And time now for some breaking news. Pakistani Rangers have again violated ceasefire in two posts in Kathua area of Jammu on the international border last night. Firing and shelling continued from both sides till 11.30 p.m. However, no damages have in fact been reported from the Indian side and the best part, no casualties reported also so far. However, the provocation continues and continues from the Pakistani side. We have uh, Shuja ul -Haq joining us on the phone line. Morning Shuja. It seems that the shelling and firing continues uh, till 11.30. But uh, post 11.30, Shuja is live with us. Post 11.30, uh, what really w happened overnight? I believe that uh, there was some sort of a calm that the Indians were able to drill home as far as the Pakistanis are concerned. Well, that, that's right, uh, Sanket. We would, uh, you know, rather call, call it an uneasy calm that was prevailing, uh, you know, across uh, these places in the international border. Uh, Samba sector is the place where most of uh, uh, where most of the shelling has been happening. And till 11:30, there was shelling going on from both sides. Firing was being reported, uh, uh, but after that, uh, it looked like the, the situation had calmed down. Uh, but le there, there is a pattern in it, you know, Sanket. Uh, every time uh, we we we, we hope Hope that uh, there would be more, uh, there would be now, uh, you know a time for calm. Uh, something happens and the firing starts once again. Uh, yesterday also uh, through the day there was uh, you know there, there was a sense of calm and peace in various places. But uh, towards the evening the firing had picked up once again, and that's perhaps the reason why even now uh, the villagers who were, were living along the international border in Samba sector, Hiranagar uh, areas have not returned back. I can tell you that at least 7,000 people have. Migrated, or rather, have been evacuated from their uh, places and are living in relief camps in safer regions, and have uh, and have not, uh, you know, uh, returned back to their homes even as we speak. There are places in Samba sector where the administration has asked the people deliberately has asked them, given them advisories, not to go to these regions. Even the schools have been asked not to function, uh, you know, so the, so that uh, no untoward incident uh, happens in these areas. So while some sort of an uneasy calm prevailed throughout the night. The tension still is actually very real on the and ground with most people still. Absolutely. Absolutely, Shuja. And what is even more surprising is that Pakistan ends up blaming India for this uh, escalation of tension along the border. Whereas it is quite obvious with these images that we are bringing to our viewers that the provocation has first come from the other side. Just take us through what sort of retaliatory firing is the Indian side actually doing. Well, as far as the retaliatory fire is concerned, it is done in equal caliber. If uh, you know, if you see what we've been reporting in past few days, uh, the, the Pakistani side has been using small arms to uh, heavy mortar shells uh, to sort of uh, uh, inflict damage on our side, and uh, we've been giving it back in the same caliber. Uh, there are heavy uh, mortar uh, mortars being used from our side as well, and I can tell you that uh, when 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 we spend time in in the border areas and shelling was going on from both sides it is no less than a war like situation in these places with with heavy mortars being used from both sides so yes you have absolutely right the tension is still prevailing uh, with with pakistan uh, continuously blaming it on india and indian side uh, is absolutely clear on its stand that every time uh, something like this happens the provocation is from their side absolutely shuja ul haq there joining us with all the latest in fact that is uh, our big focus here on headlines today.